Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my guide for the Tree Sentinel from Elden Ring. The Tree Sentinel, let's say, has a bit of a reputation, but he's actually not that difficult at all if you use a tactical advantage. Height. Magic builds are already set up for this, but melee might not be. You'll need a bow if that is the case. You can buy a bow from the Nomadic Merchant just south of the Coastal Cave. He has it for sale for 600 runes. You can buy an infinite amount of arrows from him or from Kael Kale from the Church of Ella. They're about 20 runes apiece. Now, if you are a magic build, you're going to want to change your flask allocation to all, pretty much all, if not all, uh, cerulean, so blue flask. Uh, you don't want to run out of magic. You shouldn't need any health if you do this correctly. Again, I'm just up here at the Church of Ella. We're just going to see Kale Kale. <laughs> uh, yeah, he. so here, if you need some more arrows, then you can buy them here. They are fairly cheap. You've got, you've got the stronger arrows or the weaker ones. It's up to you. Uh, I am magic, so I'm not going to be using arrows or bow and arrow. But I'm just going to run over here and start the fight off. So you know where I am, the Church of Ella. It's behind the Tree Sentinel. This guy, um, yeah, don't take him on one-on-one. -on -one. You can actually use some uh, summoning spirits if you want to, but it's not necessary. So get his attention. If he's facing away from you, just give him a quick slap up the arse. And then bounce up here on uh, on Torrent. And uh, that's it. <laughs> that's as easy as it is, really. Uh, now, he can still hit you if you stay on the lower part of this, this ruin here. So I like to just come just to the left-hand side of this tree. And uh, hit him with magic. You have to still be aware of him doing the uh, the shield, which is going to bounce the magic back towards you. And sometimes now, like now, he'll de-aggro. And he'll actually just kind of walk away from you. <laughs> that's completely normal, don't worry. If he de-aggros, that's good. That means you can just start peppering him with, uh, with magic and uh, not have to worry about it. Now, don't worry, you don't have to go and chase him down if this happens. Uh, you can just wait here a moment on the corner. And he'll either ride back towards you, kind of remember that he was supposed to be fighting someone, or he will completely de-aggro and his name will disappear. And um, he'll just do his normal pathing and he'll see you and run towards you. There's no, no need to go back down to see him. Uh, so yeah, if you're using a bow and arrow, some of the angles might be a bit tighter when doing things like this. So you'll have to wait for him to go a bit further away. Uh, but I wouldn't go and onto this corner to fight him because he can still hit you with pretty much all of his attacks even the, the the ground slam now you just saw him despawn there that's normal for bosses if you take them outside of their um their area their attack area they'll completely despawn but if that happens don't worry his health is not going to regen he's not going to get all this health back he's going to be where you left off so you can just keep doing this and you should be all right and uh he should not hit you at all we're getting another diagro here which is good uh, he's just going to wander off while being hit. Hopefully this stays as it is um, with the whole de-aggroing thing. This video is fairly new, fairly com it's coming out fairly near the release of the game. Um, we're on patch 103 here. So hopefully he does still do this. You'll always be able to jump up on here though. Uh, it just might take a bit longer. And yeah, obviously watch out for those. <laughs> he has a, a tendency to do those. Again, try and remember where the tree was. And, um, yeah, just keep keep doing it. He will run underneath you, and more often than not, the first thing he'll do is actually the shield, hold his shield up. Uh, so, obviously, you don't want to shoot a bit of magic right towards that. Um, yeah, whichever magic you have. I'm doing this right at the start. I think I've leveled up two or three times, two or three points in intelligence. That's it. Uh, I've not really done anything else. So, this can be done right at the beginning. Uh, just get rid of him. Get him out of the way. Get those extra runes that you're going to get for killing him and if you want a nice shiny halberd then uh, yeah you'll get one of those as well when you kill him but that's it yeah he's once he's dead he's dead that is just an enemy by the way he's not technically a boss you will fight some more of these later on spoiler alert uh, yeah there you go golden halberd and that's as easy as it is right thanks very much for watching I'll see you on the next one